All right, I hope you guys like that little cinematic there. Um, welcome back to another lovely Wednesday. It is great to have you guys here. It is great for all of you um, to be, I don't even know where I was gonna lead with this. Uh, again though, welcome back guys. I'm glad to have you all back and I'm glad to show you some more progression in the SI build. Um, before I start today's video though, real quick, it is official now, boom. Ibach, May 6th. I'm going to be there at Auto Speedway, Fontana. If you guys want to go ahead and check out my SI build in person, uh, I will be there. And Or if you just want to hang out with me too, I'll be there. Um, I know the whole build isn't fully complete, but at least where it stands now, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, um, meet me there. Uh, on top of that too, um, diving in, I, I was hoping that I would not have done this before today's video, but um, I ended up doing it so fast that it's already done so there's no turning back uh car is lowered it is now on running on d2 springs so i'm two inch dropped now to the ground not slammed uh just two inches you know just got rid of the gap you, you guys will see it but um i'm gonna keep that for a separate video i don't want to get too much into it there is going to be an installation that you guys will see next week uh for people who just need that assistance and that guide um just like myself i didn't know i learned just yesterday actually so I will prompt that up next week for you guys too. And um, on top of that, uh, just with the entire build, we're kind of, I'm gonna try and, try and see if, uh, you know, Ube made um, can go ahead and get me the diffuser done before I box so that way we got that piece two in. Um, I'm hoping that if that's in, I don't know if I'll post a YouTube video on time before I box, but you guys will get a video of that too for that update. Uh, but again, to be mostly updated of the build, just follow my Instagram page at fong.vlg. And also, like I said, check out Ube Made for his amazing custom products. If you guys want anything like it or, you know, just DM him. He'll, he'll help you out. Um, with that being said, though, let's just go ahead and die. Let me show you guys what's going on with the side skirts, the entire build, and uh, everything that's, yeah, just going on. Woo! No more side block. You guys can actually see it on the side now. You guys, I feel like these like canards were like hidden too, because like there was just that block and like it just covered these, these beautiful canards. Um, the purpose of that block though was that it was gonna be redesigned. We weren't supposed to actually chop off chop off this much. Actually, this is separate. We didn't even chop off. We still have the blocks, but uh, we were going to go ahead and keep it as a, a certain design, and we're gonna try and follow that throughout the body of the car. But what ended up happening was after doing the side skirts first and then kind of matching it with the block realized that the design we were going to do was not going to be as great as we thought so i thought of doing something a lot more subtle and simple of just a fin and then yeah just keep it like that i mean i feel like it, that looks perfect the way it flows and everything um i'll show you guys the design that we were going to do so we're going to cut a little bit on the front and the back uh get some of that like this kind of like shape in a sense um but we didn't end up doing that if you guys want to see what the photo would look like if we did do that i kind of just kind of drew it out so there's the drawing yeah that's my artistic work right there um but yeah so then this is the final product of it now on the side over time we can always reshape this i don't know thinking about maybe cutting this a little bit shorter so it kind of matches with the fender here but uh I, I don't know we'll, we'll in due time we'll figure it out it can always be redone at least with ube made's product so everything can always be changed that's a nice thing uh for the side skirts we went with like uh kind of designed to follow the lines of the car kind of going with the shape as you guys can see it kind of flares outward um not thinking about the side skirt here but just thinking about the body it kind of like goes and then flares outward so we kind of like did our own design kind of to like to complement that um you know just a little a little square here so it stuck out and matched this here and then it went in a bit out arc and then this different kind of matching um side skirt like fin here we we're trying to match this back piece and then we have this now arc little down um i like the little pointy this is actually john's idea he thought of doing this and it definitely came out a lot nicer than i expected um, but it definitely is pretty nice and it just adds a little bit of character. So it's not anything too crazy on the sides But it's perfect. I think it's really perfect. Diffuser will be coming in next. Uh, we'll get that done so we can get the whole entire aero Spec all set, but as of right now, it looks pretty good at least from like this angle too, you know Actually from the side too. I'll show you guys 
So there it is. Let me know what you guys think of that. You know, um, from the side here. Does not look too bad. Uh, we'll get the back. I know the back's missing, guys, but I feel like it's filled in a lot more now that we got the side skirts added and fixed out the front end. Um, oh, here's a little bit better lighting on this side. But also kind of just showing you guys, too. It doesn't look too bad even from the back. So um, now kind of getting to the lowered portion of the car just to show you guys real quick. Uh, it's a two inch drop, so it definitely got rid of the wheel gap that was here. Um, with some spacers and uh, just kind of fixing the camber out, it's definitely going to be like a, there's an amp. It's definitely going to be like, uh, like a millimeter apart or so. You can fit your debit card or so there. Um, but there's literally this much space. So it's kind of upward too. So I'm over here. Yeah. Uh, the, the rear, you can definitely tell too. Uh, it's more like tucked upward. So like this is where the tire is up here. Like up there. And then that's where the fender lining is. So like, yeah, that. With some space here, that'd be really close. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> but I think it's perfect for a spring drop. It's functional, you know? I didn't want to take the coilover route just because, well, one, I don't know if they solved the problem, but we have sensors from the sport button. And so that would flip on a check engine light, I believe. But with the springs, I mean, you're already running spring stock. So, you know, just shorten them. And D2 really makes them pretty comfortable. I think the ride height is great, um, especially the ride quality. But now that it's lowered, I feel like it's more flown together now. You guys go ahead and give me your thoughts. But this is so far it. Um, the build is coming along great. Next step is K-Tuner, clutch, uh, diffuser. I mean, I got a whole list, guys. I don't want to like go off on it. But I mean, in due time, guys, this whole entire build will be hopefully close to finish by the end of this year. Um, I think it's turning out really great. It's only been like four months of ownership, really. so. Um, at least for myself, I think I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. You let me know what you guys think, have your opinions, but I'm loving it. It looks freaking awesome. Just want to give you guys a little bit of little side views. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk more into it. And remember, next week, I'll go ahead and give you guys an installation on how to do the springs if you don't know how. So that way, it can help you out too. Um, if you're new here and you don't know, I post every single week, every single Wednesday. So you're gonna get content from me every single week. Um, on top of that, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, thanks for just sticking with the build. And again, if you guys wanna see more, Follow me at fong.vlg, dang the freaking win. Uh, and also follow at Ube Made for amazing artwork like this. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next week. And as always, yeah, dad. Peace.